Welcome to Chagask's Pig Development Department Skills Series. In this video, we will discuss how to cross foster piglets. Fostering means removing a piglet from its natural mother to another sow so that it can gain access to a teat, suckle and survive. Piglets are born with no acquired immunity against disease until they consume colostrum. The colostrum contains antibodies to the infections that the sow has been exposed to, whether naturally or by vaccination. Colostrum is a great source of antibodies, energy and water for the newborn piglet who has very little energy reserves at birth. As early as three hours after birth, the piglet can only absorb 50% of the antibodies in the colostrum, and this is greatly reduced by 24 hours. Therefore, each piglet needs to consume at least 200 milliliters of colostrum shortly after birth to provide it with an adequate level of immunity. The composition of colostrum changes to milk within 36 hours of farrowing. A good stock person will assist weak piglets to suckle and get colostrum as soon as possible after birth. If cross-fostering is necessary, it is important to first assess the rearing capacity of each sow based on the number of exposed functional teats. Do not foster piglets in the first 12 hours so that they get enough colostrum from their own mother if possible. The number of piglets on each sow must not exceed the number of functional teats. Select sows with long, slender teats, especially if the piglets being fostered are small. Having the correct number of piglets on each sow is more important than matching piglets by weight. Try as much as possible to carry out all fostering within the first 24 hours of life to minimise the disruption for the piglets and to reduce any risk of disease transfer. We hope you found this video useful. For more information and to download a printable fact sheet, visit www.chagask.ie forward slash animals forward slash pigs.